Hey everybody, it's Greg the Gamer. Welcome back to the channel today. Hey, today we're going to be hopping back into one of my favorite mods for Hearts of Iron 4, the Lord of the Rings mod. Uh, now, if you haven't had a chance to play this mod, it's awesome. Uh, to keep adding content to it all the time. And, uh, you know, it just continues to grow. Now, I've done a couple playthroughs uh, in this mod before, one for Gondor and one for Mordor. But I thought today it would be fun to go ahead and try our hand at the Kingdom of Rohan. I really love um, King Theoden in Rohan, and I love the, the whole look of the, the Kingdom of Rohan. So I thought, yeah, let's go ahead and hop in and see if we can defend our kingdom against Saruman the White. Unfortunately, the Kingdom of Rohan doesn't start with any national focuses, um, so those are still being built out. Though we do have a focus tree. Uh, it's not overly large, but um, it's sufficient. So let's go ahead and hop in. And here we are, the Kingdom of Rohan. Uh, we have Edoras. Uh, so the model's still being added, but you can see they are starting to add some of the long houses in here. So we just need to get Edoras added. But we also, uh, we have Helm's Deep down here. Uh, pretty cool, pretty cool. Unfortunately, we have Isengard right on our doorstep. Oh, look at that. It's glorious. The Orinth uh, Tower is incredible. I can't wait until we actually get uh, Edoras and Helm's Deep added to the game as well. Uh, as well as the White City of Minas Tirith. But, uh, you know, there are um, things already added in the game. Back door looks awesome. And this map uh, is gorgeous. Um, it's just a really cool reproduction of the Lord of the Rings map. It's just so cool. I like it so much. So let's uh, go ahead and get a few things sorted uh, for the Kingdom of Rohan, because we will be going to war very soon. Going to have to get a few things sorted here quickly. So let's go ahead and get our army squared away. Uh, looks like we have 17 divisions. Uh, we've got swordsmen, cavalry, and mountain divisions. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at our templates real quick. Uh, yeah, uh, pretty cool. I do like the models a lot. Uh, looks very, very cool. Uh, Vikings with swords and spears. All right, and it uh, looks like a 18 width combat, so these guys will be fine. Mountain, yeah, 24 combat width. Yeah, these guys are chunky. All right, uh, we're doing all right with our military. Uh, let's go ahead and assign up a general. Uh, I'm thinking I'm going to go ahead and choose uh, Elfham here. Five defense, pretty strong. And let's see about a field marshal. Oh, well, of course we got to have uh, King Theoden himself. So he's a fast planner. He's charismatic. Heck yeah. All right. Now for our focus tree here. We do actually have a focus tree. It is not overly large, but it's fairly efficient. Um, so we've got trade focuses. We've got tech focuses. We can update our industry here. Army on the right. And kind of our thematic options here on the left. So let's go ahead and choose our first focus, the fate of Rohan. Now research is completely different with this mod, uh, and I have no idea what is optimal here. Uh, the, the, the trees are completely different now. Infantry equipment support our trees, special forces, we've got support companies are different. Uh, ballistics, uh, knowledge, alchemy, magic. Um, but it looks like most things are pretty standard. Let's go ahead and work on our soft attack for our infantry here. So, uh, let's go ahead and grab our, I'm thinking spear equipment here. Uh, that requires wood and iron and this requires wood and iron and iron. Okay. Yeah. Let's go ahead and grab our spear infantry. Okay. Well, we do have an economy. Uh, we've got 18 uh, civvies and three military factories. So seeing that we're going to be at war almost immediately here, and we do have some pretty good infrastructure in these regions, uh, the Western Rohan. Let's go ahead and get some uh, some factories queued up here. Uh, I'm hesitant to build anything too close to Isengard. Okay, we do. Uh, let's go ahead and get our equipment sorted here. We do have miles. Let's go ahead and uh, get them assigned to our equipment here. So, yeah, equestrian specialization. Yeah, that looks good. Horse drawn wagons. I think that's our trains. No, that's our trucks. And we're going to need some long bows. 
The War of the Ring. The War of the Ring evolves around many things, but of course a small golden trinket lies at the center of it all, the One Ring. In this mod, the One Ring uh, adopts the form of a national spirit that uh, grants a very significant state boost to all your divisions. Now, we do uh, have quite a few things that we can do um, in this mod. It's kind of similar to CK3. Uh, we have a ton of different um, council members that we can assign. Let's go ahead and improve our industry now. We've got the Ro uh, Rohanian Renovation Program. Okay, now that we do have some command power, let's go ahead and get a Chief of the Army. Uh, this guy, um, Erkenbrand, is the only guy that gives us ticking army XP, so let's go ahead and pick him. Ah, oh, this is pretty great. We even have, uh, the Myos are even built out for the different factions here, so this is pretty cool. Okay, we got better bows. Cool. I'm thinking we grab the advanced longbow. The North Andean uh, region, commonly known as the Shire, has been subject to recent commotion from one of their oldest members, mysteriously vanished during his birthday celebrations. Bilbo Baggins, the longest living hobbit at age 111, was just giving his birthday speech when he reportedly vanished into thin air. Hobbit authorities are investigating what happened. Who knew? So now we do have a new component that opens up in the events and decisions tree here. Now we have the one ring uh, component. So as the one ring uh, goes on its little journey uh, and the fellowship is assembled, we can actually track that progress in this little mini map mode. That's pretty cool. And, uh, uh, you know, and so each of the fellowship members as they assemble can either be killed or can can survive to fight another day um and so the agents of mordor will be throwing everything they have to try to grab the one ring and uh, there's very little we can do it's kind of it's very rng so i don't know some people like it some people hate it wizards clash at orinth Ah, uh, yeah, so Isengard's getting ready to do the thing. Okay, we've developed uh, industry in the east to try if the... <laughs> my intention was to keep as much of our industry out of the hands of Isengard if we can, but we will see. Let's do some army modernization. Uh, we're going to be at war here pretty soon, so we're going to need that. And I want to get some better templates. I'm attempting to recruit more troops as quickly as possible, but uh, we do have a pretty big deficit. Uh, we are closing the gaps pretty quickly, but I'm building factories as, <laughs> well, as quickly as I can. Ah, the hearts of men. Uh, we're going to gain a 15% recruitable pop factor. Yes, please. Uh, I don't know how RNG this is, so uh, I want to pick a chief advisor, but if I pick Theodred here, does he die anyway? And then I lose 150 PP because that would suck. But that's a ton of stability. I think we're going to go ahead and we're going to grab uh, Eomer here. Uh, he's going to give us division speed, uh, stability, war support, and all sorts of good stuff. So let's get that sorted. Okay, army modernization is done. Uh, let's go ahead and grab the Ride of the Rohirrin. Uh, no description yet, but it gives us a 250% research bonuses to chariots. Theoden uh, names Grima Wormtongue his chief advisor. Um, no? Does that just... Are you shitting me? I just spent 150 political power to pick a chief advisor, Krima Wormtongue, as our new advisor. Uh, and he can't be removed. Let's go ahead and grab Banner of Command. So we're going to gain uh, banners for our troops, which are pretty cool, standard bearers. Uh, it adds to our defense a little bit, um, adds more manpower, but it also uh, keeps them from breaking, uh, increases our HP. So it's uh, overall pretty good little mechanic. The king is suffering under a powerful illness. King Theoden's de uh, health, uh, he hasn't died yet. King Theoden's health has been declining steadily for the last weeks. Uh, all government programs have come to a halt as Prince Eomer's request to rule in his stead have been dismissed by Grima Wormtongue, the king's primary advisor. Conspiracy theories have put the blame on Saruman, but no evidence has been found to support these wild claims. May he recover soon. The king of Rohan is affected with a serious illness. Fantastic. So, what, what is this? Uh, invalid idea. Federative ideology modifier removed. So, we are now... Yeah, we're the House of Arl on uh, line here. And Theoden, uh, the guy needs a haircut. He's not doing so well. Interesting. I don't know what we are, but uh, our name changed. <laughs> Ride of the Rohirrim is done. Uh, let's go ahead and accept Dream of Wormtongue into the King's service. Uh, whatever, it takes zero days, but it's, we have to continue down our focus tree. Uh, it looks like the beginnings of the Fellowship uh, are starting to be put together. Aragorn and the Hobbits, uh, maybe they've, yeah, they've been heading towards Weathertop, I think. 
Eremir goes into exile after several clashes with the king's primary advisor, Prince Theoden, uh, has gathered a host of Rohirrim riders and left the capital of Edoras. His intentions are currently unknown, a great loss for the realm. He's going to lose manpower, and Eomir is not a general or a chief advisor. Yay! We're so far behind on spear equipment, it's ridiculous. Gandalf the Grey arrives in Edoras. He is a herald of woe, late in the hour in which his conjurer chooses to appear. <laughs> Uh, ill news and ill guest. Gandalf the Grey has arrived in Edoras as requested a meeting with the king. The king is ill and weak, but perhaps the wizard can help him recover. So you can choose this. May he enter, or he is not welcome here. Uh, we're going to let him enter. Okay, now that Gandalf has arrived, we're going to go ahead and allow Gandalf in the king's halls. Gandalf usually arrives early in 1938, apparently. <laughs> Okay, we've allowed Gandalf into the king's chambers. So now we've got two choices here. We can exile Grima, okay, or we can ex execute Grima. Maybe it would work out better for Rohan if we just got rid of this guy. Uh, spoilers, he becomes a problem again if we just leave him alone, just let him go. I think we're going to go ahead and do this. I'm not going to repeat that again so that YouTube's not grumpy. Okay, now let's restore the realm. Uh, okay, so we're going to gain some stability, and it'll be a reformed realm. Fantastic. And Theoden uh, will get a haircut. Uh, okay, we have some XP now. Can we... Okay, so I've made a few changes. Uh, organization's taken a bit of a hit, but I've really tailored everything towards uh, defense here. So we've got some engineers, got some cavalry con, and some extra archers. Um, so yeah, it's a template. I don't know if it's optimal, but, uh, you guys let me know in the comments down below. We certainly don't have the equipment though to support it just yet, but we are building factories crazy quickly. Okay. So the war chariot is effectively like a tank. Oh, this is cool. This is so cool. We can actually, we have a tank de designer, uh, but for chariots, this is so cool. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, we could put cloth barding on them. Oh my goodness. Oh, this is so cool. We can pick the weapons. Even the horse. We can pick a different horse. All right, we've restored the realm. Now we are the kingdom of Rohan once again. Theoden uh, is better. He had a nap and now he feels better. Uh, let's go ahead and welcome back Eomer. Um, last order of battle, the Rohan Riders. Comes the general. We get, uh, yeah, we definitely want him back. Sauron denounces Rohan's integrity. Uh, yeah, so he's coming for us. Um, they're going to be declaring war pretty quick. And apparently, um, while, <laughs> while the Theoden was having a nap, the ring has been captured. Uh, what now? Frodo was killed and the ring was captured. So Mordor seizes the one ring. Ah, uh, crap. So, uh, yeah, that's not supposed to happen. Um, that could be a problem for us. Uh, Mordor. Uh, Mordor has the ring. A ring to rule them all. Uh, political power gain. Attack and defense plus 20%. Oh, my God. Let's go ahead and encourage the Ents to seek vengeance. Uh, if controlled by an AI, the nation of Entwood will be much more likely to declare war on Isengard at some point. Sounds good to me. And Aramur's back, so let's go ahead and make him a general. We're going to use them as our fast assault troops. So, uh, the idea would be try to break through the orc lines and do as much surrounding as I can. Hobbit Inventor discovers third breakfast. Well, there you go. Widely celebrated Hobbit Inventor, uh, Roramac Goldfather Brandybuck has recently published his postulation of a potential existence of a third breakfast you say oh my well we've had first breakfast we've had second breakfast so why not third breakfast uh, okay we're gonna need a new advisor let's go ahead and yeah Amber let's go ahead and put him back in okay we've encouraged the Ents to go on vengeance maybe that'll help us uh, in the long run I don't really know armored horses so let's go ahead and do that we'll get some armor for our cavalry sounds good Try to boost up our cavalry as much as possible. Uh, we're doing okay on light cavalry. Can we recruit some more? Uh, kind of. Let's go Master of Horses. Uh, ooh, we've got some good options here. Yeah, let's go ahead and grab Hama here as the Horse Lord of Rohan, uh, as Master of Horses. Max speed, armor, soft attack, breakthrough. Lovely, lovely stuff. We're going to need it. Uh, what do we want to 
do? Uh, I think we should prepare for war. Uh, that's going to add extensive conscription. Recruitable pop, 5%. Training time, okay, so. Alright, lovely stuff. Yeah, the Ents. Uh, doesn't look like the Ents have Ents, but uh, yeah, they're here somewhere. Uh, look, there's Creepbeard. So my plan is to see if we can... I would like to hold uh, Isengard at this river, but there is no supply here. There is absolutely zero supply here, so that would seem foolish, actually. Um, so <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and we're just gonna haul. We're gonna hold back here at our battle lines, and unfortunately, these are all plains tiles. Uh, not ideal for holding anything. I could try to build some fortifications. May not be a bad idea. Okay, let's go ahead and do expansion new towns. I want to work our way down uh, from here down to East Fold here and give us some more factories. Okay, it looks like Isengard has just claimed a bunch of territory west here, so that's not good. And currently we're dealing with Orc Pillaging uh, on the frontier. So recruitable pop, negative 25%, uh, turning our stability and a production and factory output, uh, which is not good. Not good at all. Okay, we've supported Aragorn's claim on the throne of Gondor. Fantastic. I'm just gonna go ahead and put you guys on the border with the realm of Daggerland, uh, just in case Mordor decides to gobble them up. Aragorn has been crowned King of Gondor, former chieftain of the Dunedin of the north known as Aragorn, commonly referred to as Strider, was crowned King a lesser of uh, Telcontor of Gondor. Uh, I'm sorry I butchered that, but it's just how it's going to be. The 35th King of Gondor. Hmm. So Denethor is gone, and now we have King Aragorn. Look at him. He's so majestic with his crown. Look at that. Patriot King. Let's go ahead and add some chariots onto the front of our Rohirrim cavalry here. Uh, we're a little short, but uh, we're catching up, though. So the prince is dead, and Saruman's taken the fords. A horde of orcs overran the fords of Isen, burning everything they came across, killing the valiant defender of the Rohan, our prince Theorid. Uh, Marshal Grimbold uh, def <laughs> defended him and recovered his body single-handedly. May he rest in peace. Uh, so this is unfortunate. So they've just annexed the Rohan Gap here. Uh, fair amount of resources there, uh, and there's nothing I can do to stop them. Dawn of the Rivendell Initiative. Uh, so Rivendell has formed their own faction, apparently. Oh, look at that. Uh, it's pretty chunky. Ah, oh, what a pal. We're gonna go ahead and join his faction. We are now part of the Gondorian Alliance. Saruman demands the West March. The troublemaker Saruman has demanded we cede control over the West March. He claims that we are planning to attack Orinth from there, and that our control over it is a threat to the peaceful relations between Isengard and Rohan. <laughs> Peaceful relations, sure, 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 sure. We may buy some time by surrendering. Uh, so this is like the uh, mechanic for China. Uh, yeah, no. Uh, over our dead bodies. We're not giving up. Okay, well, Sauron ha Okay, so Sauron has a war goal against Rohan, so they'll be coming any moment now. Okay, we've bunkered down in Helm's Deep, so we've, uh, that's our new capital. Let's go ahead and fortify Helm's Deep. And it looks like Saruman has joined the Dark Pack, so they will be coming soon. Okay, we've removed the Orc Pillaging from Rohan here, so now uh, we don't have to worry about that debuff, so fantastic. Well, if you're not going to do it, then I'll do it. Okay, that's the wrong direction, Ents. Uh, the Ents have declared war on Lothlorien. Uh, yeah, the elves are not the problem, guys. Uh, the orcs are the problem. Uh, no, I don't want to go to war of Lothlorien. W w what's going on here? Uh, what? No, 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 <laughs> no. We're now at war with the Gaunt. Uh, oh my god. All right, our alliance is at war with Rivendell and Elrond. No, no, I, I don't want that war. That's, that's a bad idea. Gotta keep our eye on the ball here. Yeah, things aren't going as expected. Uh, I didn't think our alliance would be at war with the elves, but, uh, you know, things were done. Things were done. All right, well, we're just gonna go to war against uh, Sauron. Because, uh, uh, I don't know, for whatever reason, he's not coming after us. Now, the good news is our cavalry uh, is hitting for a lot. Yeah, our cavalry tanks are just, well, that tanks. <laughs> Pen, pen, pen. 
And Isengard has been seized. Oh, you'll love to see it. The White Wizard is no more. Let's move you boys down here. Uh, looks like Gondor needs some help. And uh, what about our cavalry? Uh, yeah, let's just clean this pocket up, and then we'll have to deal with the elves. Okay, cavalry is complete. That pocket, let's go ahead and get you guys going here. The, Hornburg, the Hornburg's defenses are breached. Uh, I don't think so. Uh, there's nobody here, and you really messed up all my factories. Oh my god, our entire economy is in the tank now because uh, the game breached at Helm's Deep here, so now it's wrecked all of our factories. Uh, the, the, the pre-scripting, uh, I'm not, not a fan of that. I don't know what's going on here. This is so dumb. Why are we at war with the elves, and why is Isengard back? We can help them take back this part of Gondor, that would be good. Why are we at war with the elves? This makes no sense. It's so dumb, I don't want to be at war with the elves. Yeah, Gondor is not looking too fresh. Uh, they've lost Minas Tirith. Um, I'm not sure what we can do here for him. Uh, our troops cannot pierce the orc lines with uh, the fact that uh, Sauron has the One Ring. Uh, it's basically impervious. <laughs> yeah, there's this is insane. There's no way to break through them. Mordor seizes Blackgate outskirts. Oh, crap. That is not a good thing. Uh, apparently they just annexed this. Uh, yeah. I want half of you guys to hold both of these, and I need you to get there as quickly as possible. Gondor is doesn't seem to be uh, long for this world. Isengard is back, even bigger than than it was. Uh, and I have no troops here in the west. Staff office plan, see, get some planning bonus. And go. Let's see if we can punch through these orc lines. Uh, not even orcs, I guess these are just men. Excellent. We take back the river line. Okay, and in the meantime, uh, they're training troops. Okay. Alright, we're holding there. Deploy troops uh, in Helm's Deep. Okay, fantastic. Let's grab these guys up. You know, we're doing okay here, but we have no defenses. Alright, we're holding alright against the elves now. Along with the Ents. Yeah, they're taking huge losses uh, on those attacking the orcs. Oh my god. They get just hit for so much. 500 attack and defense. Oh my god. There's, there's nothing we can do. King of Erebor has capitulated. Not good. Uh, yikes. Yeah, Mordor is north of us, as well as east of us. Shard of the Rohirrim, here we come. Pushing him back, pushing him back. Gets the supply hub. They can defend for so much, these orcs. Uh, it's ridiculous. We just can't push anywhere. It's almost impossible. And we just take incredible losses. Well, we're making uh, gains on the elves here. At least say that. Yeah, it's not looking good for our alliance. It's not looking good. Apparently, the One Ring is uh, kind of useful, I guess. Uh, who would have known, right? <laughs> would have thought. We're going to hold them at this river. Uh, that's my hope. Uh, unfortunately, uh, we need more troops, and we just don't have them. Yeah, Gondor isn't long for this world. Uh, and then we're going to have a very long border. Uh, Aragorn. Uh, come on, man. Now, assuming that the pathing is done a certain way for this game, then we hold the only bridge here, so they shouldn't be able to cross this river, right? No, no, they can totally just cross the river, so that's just a graphical thing. Okay, cool. Uh, not great. <laughs> okay, we're holding them at the line here. Um, okay, holding them there. Uh, they have been able to push down south here. Uh, nor here. And uh, doing all right against the elves. Okay, so Gondor is gone. Uh, great. <laughs> We're on our own. We're on our own. Yeah, this ain't going well. Uh, we can't literally uh, do too much against them. Um, well, we'll just keep pushing with our troops as best we can. They get such a, a boost from the One Ring. I, I don't know if there's really anything that we can do. Uh, this guy move through. Okay, all right, we got several encircled. 
destroy them. All right, fantastic. Okay. All right, Aramor, uh, I want you to push to the coastline here. Yeah, this is not going well. All right, we're not going to be able to keep this up. We've just lost too many horses. Now we're being attacked uh, pretty much every side. It's uh, it's not looking good. Uh, we seem to be surrounded. Cavalry is not quite as useful as it used to be. Commoner levies. Uh, what are these, Gondorian troops? Like if we can shorten the line up here, maybe knock one of these factions out, that would be ideal. Oh, and Mirkwood has been eliminated. That is a ton of military factories for our glorious use here. Except that the uh, the bad guys are now uh, taking Mirkwood and Dolgodor and uh, are now marching through our lands. Um, okay. Redeploy, 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 redeploy. Strategic debris. Uh, I want half of you boys here. Move, 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 move. New game plan. I want you guys to bring your troops down here. Move, 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 move. Ermer. Uh, I want your cavalry up here for as good as it's going to be. Yep, we're getting pushed back literally everywhere. Aid arrives from Gondor, apparently, somehow. Okay. All right, we got these guys cut off. Destroy them. Fantastic. Okay, we got the rail line. Line is starting to crumble a little bit, but we are holding. Uh, yeah, the free orcs of Moria uh, is a thing. Uh, Dominion. Okay, very good, very good. Yeah, this is uh, total chaos. It's total freaking chaos. Okay, um, can we take back Dolgador? Uh, yeah, it's not looking good. Making kind of a push. Isengard's got so many forces for a capitulated power. Ah, oh, they've broken through again. Of course they have. I just don't have enough troops. Why are you fighting me? It makes no sense. I, I can only believe that the elves are at war with us because they've been corrupted by the power of the ring. That's the only way this uh, makes sense in my little mind. If I remove these troops, then the whole flood of orcs come pouring into the south. Uh, geez. Um, all right, we're gonna go ahead and take these troops off here. It keeps breaking the border for some reason. I don't know why. Uh, this, is, this is absurd. Uh, there's nothing I could do to stop them. <laughs> Uh, we have no forces. Um, all right, fall back, fall back, fall back, fall back. And uh, they're so fast. There's, we just apparently can't stop them. These elves move uh, such a lightning speed. It is ridiculous. Protect the capital. Oh my God. Uh, Antwood. Uh, they've just, all of a sudden they just got like a huge power boost. I don't know where all their troops came from. They doubled their army overnight. Yeah, this is, uh, it's not gone well. It's not gone well. Uh, we've, what's left of our forces and helps deep. Uh, Kingdom of Gondor invites us to the Gondorian Alliance. Um, thought we were already in the Gondorian Alliance, but sure. Yeah, gonna get it squeezed from three sides here. And just like that, uh, yeah, we have been destroyed. And now we are uh, a evil Theoden again. So, uh, yeah, we've lost that war. So, yeah, the armies of darkness have swallowed all of Middle-earth up. Um, yeah, Sauron had the One Ring, sure. But then also, for some reason, the elves decided they needed to go to war with us as well. So, Elrond and uh, <coughs> Gladriel thought they needed to take us out as well. So, I don't know what happened there. Anyways, uh, it did some weird things, but uh, I hope you guys had fun uh, with today's little jaunt into Rohan. Uh, if you've enjoyed today's, uh, if you enjoyed today's content, uh, leave a like down below and consider subbing to the channel if you haven't done so already for more excellent Hearts of Iron content to come. And uh, let me know if you'd be interested in maybe another playthrough of uh, this mod again, maybe as another faction. I don't know. Be interested to uh, give it another shot. It is a pretty uh, cool mod, but it definitely needs a little tweaking. I think it's a little too RNG sometimes. But um, anyways, uh, I hope you guys have a excellent day. Take care and I'll be back with you soon. Bye.